So um, I'm making part six because uh, some people pointed out some errors that I had in my original tutorial from parts one to five, and I did make that at two a.m. So um, I did miss some stuff um, pretty easily. But so I'm going to run the map and um, I'll point out the bugs that people found, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can just quickly. I'll show you how to fix them up, and I'll also be showing how to do, because someone asked this, I'll also be showing how to do multiple players um, in the leaderboard and hopefully get that working. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to test it because like I said you can only, ha well not like I said, but um, like we all know you can only have one player in the uh, in the map testing right now because it's not, it's not you're not allowed to put them on Battle.net. Um, so the first error is this thing. Um, it keeps counting into the negatives but we can see our things are in there, and this is another bug, is saying wave 2 complete. Um, so we'll want to fix those two things. Aside from that, everything else seems to be working. I mean, you can see the bounties there. Wave 3, that's it should be wave 2 complete. Kills are good, but this thing, this count is correct, but it keeps counting, so we're going to try and fix that. So, um, first things first, let me quit out of StarCraft 2. And get back to the editor here. So, in the trigger editor, um, what I clearly forgot to do was even make use of our Boolean uh, waves are running. Um, let's see, where is the spawn waves here? Um, when spawn waves wa uh, runs, we want to set our Boolean to true because um, the waves are running. So, I'm just going to copy paste this. Oops, and set, oops, we want to do, not modify, we want to do set variable. So we want to set, um, uh, no, we want to set waves, waves are running. We want to set waves are running to true. So now waves are running are true, and when the last unit dies, we want to set waves are running to uh, false. So let me save it. So now, when our waves start, it's going to turn on waves are running, and then the leaderboard update, it's going to see waves are running is now uh, true, and it's going to display the right thing, whereas before it was counting in the negatives. Um, and the other thing is that, I don't know if I actually need to do this since I made that change, but I'll do this anyway. Um, time until wave, oh, it's being set to 10 here. So yeah, we should be okay. Um, it's not going to count into the negatives anymore because this thing's not... This thing's going to be actually set properly because I set it in here and in here. Um, and the other thing was that when the wave is complete, this number actually didn't need to be added. Um, I guess it was better than I thought. So we don't need to do an arithmetic here. All we need to do is current wave number. Uh, okay, so. And Another thing that I didn't show, but it's also useful to do in tower defenses, is to play a sound. Actually, why don't I try and do that right now on the spot um, when the waves begin? So when the waves begins, let's. I'm I'm figuring this out for the first time right now, so um, I may be a little bit sketchy on this. So let's see, play sound. I think that's what we want because we don't want it to be at a point. Uh, yeah, it'll play it for the play. Let's see what we got here. Let's play. Uh, uh, I don't know, something interesting, job finish sound. Actually, that would probably be good when the wave ends. Um, forces under attack. Uh, we just need a little, like, like little uh, bell kind of noise. Nuke ready, that'll be good. Uh, for all players, yeah, okay, why don't we just try that. And And let's also do one for when the wave is over. What was that one that I picked? Job finished. Okay, that'll be that'll be pretty funny, but hopefully it'll work. Uh, save it. Okay, let's run this. Okay, I'm building. Um, this thing's counting down properly. And let's see. Yep, it played the sound. Um, I'm using headphones, so you guys can't hear it. And it did play the other sound. It said jobs finished when that ended, and it's wave one complete, and it's counting. And now it'll say wave two. 
it's it's saying nuclear missile ready every time the, the wave starts and then it says job finished uh, the Terran job finished voice whenever the wave's over um, so yeah everything's pretty much working I fixed those few bugs so that's all good so I'm gonna go back into the editor now and just show how to do a leaderboard for uh, for multiple players because someone asked it okay so um, to do a leaderboard for multiple players this is how I believe you would do it um, let's see so first of all player kills because it's only it's not an array right now it's just a single uh, integer value it's just a number um, it's only gonna be for one player so we need to say we have two players we need to make this two um, and let's see uh, yeah here where we set the leaderboard so instead of oops so it automatically made it player kills zero however we want to do um, I believe killing player so it'll modify player kills killing player so if player one did this kill on this unit it will be player one player kills for one getting plus one and then on the leaderboard we want to set it at column two but the row number has to correspond to the player now so I think we can just do killing player and it'll get, it'll return a number back um, it'll return whatever one or two so their spots and then this thing will also have to be killing player um, where is that? So I'm not totally sure if this will work, but uh, why don't we test it? Let me just make sure everything's correct. Uh, yeah. Why don't I test it, and we'll know if it works if it works fine for player one. Okay. Um, let's see. When I get when I start getting kills, I should see this same way it was before. Yeah, there we go. So it's still working. And if player 2 was here, it would be updating properly now. Um, so that's basically how you do that for multiple players. And you can see 5 and 0, 5 here. And that's going well. Okay, that's it. So um, thanks for listening.